Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in learning data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding active user retention using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in Facebook or Meta interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, assume you have the table below containing information on Facebook user actions. Write a query to obtain the active user retention in July of 2022. Output the month in a numerical format and number of monthly active users. An active user is defined as a user who has a user action, sign in, like or comment in the current month as well as the last month. So basically, if we are going to find uh, active user in July of 2022, so the user should have si signed in, liked or comment in July of 2022 as well as in June of 2022, right? So the table user actions has four different columns, user ID, event ID, event type, which can only take values, sign in, like or comment. So there is no other thing or other value that event type could take, right? And event date is equal to date time. This will come useful like when we start writing the code, right? So here is an example. So you have different, uh, you know, entries. So if you look at it, right? So uh, a user 445 in May has an activity sign in and in June as well has an activity uh, like, right? So one active user. For 742, you have information uh, in June only, right? So you don't have any data for May. So obviously it is not in the output and for 648 as well, only June data. So basically there is only one monthly active user and that is what we have. So basically what we can do is since, you know, as I've already mentioned, since the event type can only take three values, sign in, like, or comment and doing anything qualifies a user to be a active user as long as that activity is in the current in the basically in July of 2022 as well as the June of 2022 right so basically what we can do is from this table called user actions if we make sure that okay where extract extract the month from the column called event date right so event date is equal to 7 because July of 2022 right and extract right and extract the year from event date equal to 2022 if you get the distinct user ids right so basically if you know the user id is present in this user actions table so they have either you know signed in liked or comment and any of these qualifies for them to be an active user set like you know pertaining to they satisfy the other, other condition as well so let me write distinct user id right and how do you make sure that uh, the particular id uh, is also in the last month so basically what you can do is you can simply you know get the list of distinct user ids who were active basically in july 2022 and then you can use the intersection right so intersect paste it here and it should be June of 2022. So what will this do? This will give a list of all the uh, user actions or all the user IDs uh, in July of 2022 right and also this will give uh, all the user id list of all the user ids in june of 2022 and like whatever user id is present in both of them it will the final thing will output that right and that satisfies this thing right so uh, an active user is a user who has user action sign in uh, like comment in current month on last month right so this will make sure of that let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are getting Right. So once we run this, we get, okay, so there are two users who have one of these activity both in June of 2022 and July of 2022. So basically what we can do is from this, we can save this in a common table expression, right? So with CTE as, and this, the entire thing goes into parentheses, right? And then what we can do is from this common table expression, we need two columns. The first one is basically month in a numerical format, right? And which month we are, you know, looking for July of 2022, right? So we can write return seven, right? Return seven as month. And then we can count the user ID and alias this as monthly, right? Monthly active users, right? Okay. 
so i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are getting so now you have month of july and two active users let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it so Yes, somewhat difficult question, but what we had to do was, you know, we found out that, okay, the way active users is defined is they should have an action um, in the current month and last month. And that is what we got from this intersection, this entire thing, right? And once we had this, then we hard coded seven as month and counted the number of users that are, you know, classified as monthly active users. So this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.